Hey, what's up everybody? This is DJ from Outdoorsy-ish. Today we're just going to go over a quick two-minute gear review video. Uh, if you're an everyday dude and you're doing your homework and you're going to spend some money on a quality pair of pants, I know that you want to do your homework and through some of the videos you probably searched through, you found a bunch of sponsorship videos. So this is just an everyday gear review from an everyday guy. Uh, I've worn these pants for the last two years. These are the Sitka Timberline pants. They're made of a four-way stretch nylon, uh, two-way zipper, on uh, the front zipper there, one-way zippers on the front. They have this fleece material on the inside of the pockets. These pants are pretty quiet. Um, they come with the cargo pockets on the side as well as the smaller little, what I call the tag pocket right here. Um, these pants do come with the reinforced knees as well as the reinforced seat on the butt. Uh, I hunt in Western Washington and I'm gonna tell you right now, they are not waterproof. Uh, they are water resistant. However, if you're sitting there for a while, they will suck up some moisture. Uh, they do come with the Sitka suspender system. Uh, if you haven't used it before, I actually do highly recommend it as they help keep your pants up as you're moving through the wood line. Uh, quick cons on this that I found are these pants uh, come in at 36 ounces, so that's a little over two pounds for your mathematicians. And with that fleece line pants, they can get pretty toasty in the spring and the summertime, but they're money for the fall and the winter hunting, if that's uh, what you're going for, deer, elk, or whatnot. The only other cons that I found about these pants are when you're going and you're wearing these pants and you're going through some of the wet stuff, uh, especially in the springtime after the thaw, the bottoms of the pants will go ahead and suck up and retain quite a bit of moisture. Uh, the way I've been able to get around that is just put on a pair of gaiters and you know, it, it, it stops from it sucking so high up the leg when you're moving through that brush and that scrub. So uh, all in all, I would recommend these pants and spending the money on these pants. Um, quality gear, quality stuff. So I uh, hope this video helps you guys out in your decision-making process. It's going to be a yes for me. Have a good one, guys.